Mm -hmm. um, so I'll just get started by saying who I am and what I'm doing today. Um, so my name is Leah from the PR department of Audacity Capital and we're currently just conducting a few interviews with our traders to try find out a bit more about their journey into trading and how they got to the place they are today. Um, so my first question for you is just to introduce yourself and explain how you got interested in training, trading and got to the place that you are today within the industry. Um, okay, my name is Frank Aydean. Um I got into trading many years ago. I first heard about trading many years ago, about 2011-ish. At the time I was working at Bank Station as a um, customer service assistant. And um, at that station, generally, that's the central hub of London, where you have all the Bank of England and all those things around there. And you have to have, I used to have all these people come through who were like traders and stuff like that. And I got talking to them, you know, because they used to come out with all these fancy suits and cars and things like that. And I just said, you know, what, what jobs do you guys do? And they were like, we're like traders. And that was the first time I really like you know what, let me go and see what all this is about because, I mean, at the end of the day, if these guys can do it, they haven't got two heads, let me go and see what all this is about. So that was my very first time I got into it. And when I went in to do research about trading, from that moment on, I just knew I wouldn't be part of it because, yeah. um, you know, I just knew that, you know, it could give you financial freedom. It was just the kind of thing I loved doing. Yeah, that sounds great. So, um, I know you said you worked in the customer service um, part mm -hmm. of the bank, but did you have any like um, qualifications regarding um, trading? Or no, no, at that time, I didn't have any qualifications. I was just like an IT graduate. Yeah, yeah. So did yeah. you um, teach yourself how to trade? or? Um, right, what happened was, um, okay, um, I went online, went on YouTube, went on Baby Pips, went all that route. I mean, I, I studied, I was doing like four hours every day over like, I mean, even till today, I love, I love trading education. I love everything about trading. You know, I can stay up, watch trading videos for like four hours a day on different things, even topics I already know, but I just love hearing different people's views and stuff like that. So right from back then, I was just always, my whole life was about trading. When people were watching football, I was watching trading videos, basically. And yeah. um, I, um, I, I started trading a dummy account. And then I got into a cash account, blew, blew a few accounts, greed, risk management, all that kind of stuff, blew it a few times. And then um, I took a break, went back in about three years ago. And since then, luckily, when I went back in about three years ago, two years ago, there was this new law that came out that didn't allow you to kind of like over leverage. You needed mm -hmm. more mar margin to like trade. And then because my account wasn't that big, I was forced to tr trade tiny lots. And I noticed that when I was trading the tiny lots, I was actually making more money because you know, then by, I was, there's more risk management. And from that moment on, I started taking risk management very seriously. And I did more education just on risk management. And basically everything I do is about risk management. I'd rather like, you know, not make money, like hold on to the money I've got and not make money than, you know, lose the one I've already got basically yeah definitely i 100 percent agree with you and i feel like a lot more mm -hmm. people are doing what you're doing as well going down the route of self um education mm -hmm. um instead and i feel like that is a lot better for like trading psychology for things such as uh, risk management as well as you said so uh, that's great to hear that you that you're very knowledgeable on the subject um mm -hmm. already so that's great news um, so you're doing the funded trader program with Audacity Capital, yeah? Yep. Yes. So um, how has that been for you so far? Do you have any feedback? Uh, do you like it? How is, how is your Oh my God, it's one of the best things ever. I mean, what I would say to any, I mean, we're living in very good times, man. You know what I mean? My advice to anyone who is like 30 years or below, just go into trading I don't care whether it takes you three years or five years, get into it, 
after three to five years, you're going to be, I mean, a top trader. Even if you hit 1% every month as you're working, if you invest 10% of your wages every month into your trading and you make it 1% a month over 20, 30 year periods, by the time you're 40, 50, you'll be laughing. That's what I'll say to anyone who's under like 30 years. I mean, I wish I could go younger, man, but hey. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. so I, it's, it's something I'm trying to get, I'm going to get my kids into. I'm going to advise my friends to get into. I'm going to try and get them to get their kids into because it's just a lovely thing. Yeah, that sounds great. It, it sounds it amazing. And, and also with companies like you guys around who are ready to fund people, I mean, it makes it even better yeah it seems that i think you would be a good um mentor there's a lot of mentors out there uh, <laughs> I, I think you'd be a good one <laughs> oh thank you <laughs> yeah maybe that's another route you can take <laughs> <laughs> maybe great um so my last question you've kind of mm -hmm. um, already answered this but i'll ask i'll ask it again so it is just what is the best advice you could give to someone who's just starting their trading journey so this may be something that um you would have wanted to know when you started trading or just something that really changed the way your trading is okay what i would tell them to do is um read about the subject go to something like baby pips try to get as much trading knowledge as you can get from baby pips um on the practical side i would say um try and get a trading plan try and get at least, at least two good indicators and try and get a trading plan around that. And then just, you know, use those indicators with a dummy account for at least six months. And if you're profitable, just employ that same system with your real cash. Yeah, that sounds great. And I think that's um, great advice. And hopefully someone listening will definitely take that on board. And risk management, very important. Do, do yeah. not over leverage, no matter what. Yeah. Definitely. I totally agree with you. Mm. I think that's great advice. And with that, I think, um, I think that's everything for me today. So, oh, great. Lovely. Yeah. So thank you so much for this interview. Thank you. It's been lovely talking to you today. Lovely talking to you too. And hopefully in a few months or weeks, uh, we can come back again and see how you're doing with the account. Oh yeah. Great. That'd be lovely. Very yeah. soon. Yeah. I've just taken my time. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be great. Yeah. So, uh, thank you so much. And, thank you very uh, much. I'll see you soon. Say, bye. Thank you. Bye.